everybody. My name is Beth. I'm from the Itasca County Y in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, and I'm going to do a silver sneaker classic uh, class today. Uh, probably about 35-40 minutes. We'll modify a little bit because we are in a different uh, environment. So make sure uh, if you need uh, some of the pieces of equipment that I'm going to show you. Um, obviously when we're at the gym we would use uh, the bands, the ball, and a set of hand weights, but uh, circumstances have it that we can't do that right now, so be creative. You can use anything from cans, soup cans, vegetable cans, uh, milk jugs if you can lift a little bit heavier. Uh, I'll show you a variation on the elastic tubing uh, using a towel that works well. And as always, you can use body weight. So uh, we're going to get started. We're going to use a chair. And uh, again, the various pieces of equipment are a tubing or towel, a set of hand weights or a set of soup cans or anything like that. Um, I happen to not have any hand weights, so I will be using the soup cans. And then if you have a silver sneaker ball, we'll uh, use that as well. Um, so get ready. We're going to get started. Make sure you have a chair. We always start behind the chair. And the number one important thing in this class is to be safe. Safety is always most important. Three models that I live by, sing, dance, and above all, smile and have fun. So especially during this challenging time with COVID-19 and having to isolate, we've got to find ways to keep ourselves motivated and moving. So uh, let's get started. So make sure you start behind your chair. Again, like I said, I've got some different pieces of equipment. You can use uh, either elastic tubing or a towel. A towel will also work great. I'll show you that as we get into it. And um, another good form of hand weights would be uh, some water bottles. You can use those as well. I'll be showing you that as we do this. Um, I also have uh, some soup cans, chunky, <laughs> little extra weight. So I'll be using those as well. And I'm just going to set those to the side. Make sure throughout you drink water, hydrate. That's super important. Uh, if at any time you feel like you want to sit down in the chair, please do. It's there for you. It is your friend. So without further hesitation, here we go. We'll march it out and march. March. Make sure, like I said, especially with nobody watching, you can sing, be careful, safely dance, and have fun. All right, let's go. Roll the shoulders. Oh, nice, long, tall spine. Chin out the chest. March. You can also do this seated in the chair. That's the uh, benefit of classic. Other direction. Forward. 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 Good. Arch it up. Add the arms. Lift the feet. Again, shoulders back and down. Keep marching. Good. Four, three, two. Hands to the side. Shrug. Shrug. Squeeze. Squeeze. Four, three, two. And one, back to march. March, march. Good. Lift those knees. Again, you can use the chair, especially if you have balance issues, violence problems. And because we've been uh, maybe not doing quite as much exercising over the last couple weeks, make sure to keep that chair in front of you. Four, three, heels in front. Right foot lead. Hop. Good. Work that middle back. Hop. Extending opposite arm, reach, reach, four, three, two, scoop it up. Hey, remember, we still got to work on that summer body, no matter what. Summer's right around the corner. Four, three, two, to march. March right, march. Hands at the side, roll those wrists. They're probably a little bit tight from uh, working on our electronic devices. Make sure to keep everything moving. Make sure you breathe. March it out. March. We'll do some work in the chair. We'll do some work standing. We'll do some balance work. And again, at any time, 
need to have a seat and work from your chair, you're more than welcome to. Step touch to the right. Come. Nice and easy. Small steps. Pull. Pull. Four. Three. We're warming up right now. Let's tap. Reach across. Reach. Reach. So hopefully you got a chance to see Katie doing her version of summer sneakers and then chair yoga. My turn. Chris will be coming up with some Tai Chi. Reach your rights. Work those obliques. Work the back. Good. Hands on the hips. High in the toes. Tap. Tap. That's it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. All right. Step touch. Up. Up. Four. Three. Two. March and up. March right. Good. Let's extend up and lengthen that upper body. Reach up and up and up. Up. Four. Three. Two. Good. And one. March it out. To the back of the chair. Hands on top. We're going to work the lower half, starting with a squat, feet shoulder width apart. Keep marching. Use the chair for balance. Four, three, two. Weight in the heels down. Oh, maybe halfway down. Not a lot. Warm it up. And up. Do it again. Down. And up. Down. And up. Four more. Sit back in the heels. You could wiggle those toes if you want. Down. And up. Two more. Make sure you're on a solid surface, even carpeting can cause you to drag your feet a little bit too more. So make sure that that surface that you're working on is safe. Singles, top half, eight. Add the arms, seven, good. Six, five, last four, three, two, March and up, march right, march. Good. Back to the chair. Work those feet a little bit. Hands on top. Keep marching. Eight, seven, six. Make sure if you'd like, join along. Count me with me. Right, back on the heels. Back on the heels. Push up on the toes. Back on the heels. Up on the toes. Back. And up. One more. Back. And up. Heavy right arm. Sit back in the heels. Reach. Do it again. Sit back in the heels. And reach. Now, I don't know why, but I'm already sweating here. One more. Up. Switch the other side. Do it again. Reach up. Drive to the toes. Back on the heel. Up. And back. Two more. Reach. And back. Last one. Reach. And back. Now tap those toes. Tap. Toes first. As if you're jump roping. Tap. Tap. Again, we keep that chair in front of us for safety purposes. Let's switch. Reverse the hands. Tap the heels. Tap the heels. Work on the calves. That's it. Eight. Seven. Six. With me. Four. Three. Two. March it up. March. Good. Again, roll those wrists. Roll. Roll. Four. Three. Two. Other direction. Right here. Roll it up. Roll. Good. Shoulders up. Reach up. And up. And up. Two more. Up. Now we track those shoulders. Forward, back, two more. Good. March it out. We're going to slow it down carefully, walk into the front of our chair. Put our chair safely behind you. Have a seat. Sit down. Nice, long, and tall on the chair. Make sure if you need water at this point, grab a drink. Otherwise, we're choked. Keep marching. 
Continuing with the warm up from a seated position. Lurch. Nice long spine. Pushing up the chest. Shoulders back and down. Roll. Roll. Two more. Roll. All right. Reach the hands up. Reach. 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 Heels in front. Right lead. of the obliques, lengthen out. We probably find ourselves sitting a little longer, a little bit more, you know, define creative ways to keep moving. One way to do that in your free time, dance it out. Eight, seven, six, back to reaching forward, four, three, two, all right. That's it. Four, three. Now you have to kind of think of things in real life, especially as you're at home. So as you're marching, we're going to lift our leg up. Let's see, what do we got around here? I got a lot of dirty clothes. Lift that foot up and over, up and over in the pile of dirty clothes. Up and over. Again, up and over. Maybe your dog, maybe your cat. All right, good. Right here. Tap the toes. Lift the wrists. Good. Now, fingers extend with the thumb. Touch. Pointer, middle, ring, pinky. Pointer, ring, middle, ring, pinky. Good for the brain. One more. Pointer, middle. Ring, pinky, switch, tap the heels, jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, march out, march. Good, we're gonna stretch on the right side, warm it up. When you're ready, starting with the right side, and if you do the left, not a big deal, we gotta do both. Here we go, extend that right leg out. Heel down, toes up, move through it, forward and back. Make sure you reach forward and not down, risking the chance of falling out of the chair. You don't want to do that. Reach forward and back. And again, any time throughout this, if you need to stop, take a water break, go ahead and do that. Grab water. One of the things I'm trying to do during this uh, downtime when life has slowed down one more time is to focus on drinking a lot more water. All right, hold on, pulse, stretching that hamstring. Big deep breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Come up to a seated position, reach underneath that leg, hinging at the knee, working mobility of that knee. Keep it down lower if you have any knee troubles, or up here, and then let's circle. So don't forget to work your feet. Your feet hold everything else up, super important. So don't overlook that. Great time to be able to do that right now, especially as we're at home. Make sure, unless you're essential, where you need to get groceries or anything else, stay home, stay safe. All right, step on the gas, push forward, stretch the top of the foot, and then the heel, stretching forward. Good. Foot back down, march it out. March it out. Let's see that right arm across. Big fist, roll it around. Again, some of the smaller joints of the body can get stiff, they can get sore, especially if you are using a lot of electronics right now. Make sure to focus on, particularly the wrist, the hands. Push that palm down as you're stretching the delt, the shoulder. Keep marching if you'd like. That's it. All right, bring that hand up front, palm up, up and over. Stretch out that tricep. Lengthen the spine, stretching the tricep. Keep going. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good. Release. Right hand behind, followed by the left. Open up. Squeeze. March it out. March. Now, if at home you want to play some sort of music, you're totally fine to do that. We're still working on our copyright issues. So, right now, 
music's all in my head. Gotta sing. That's it. Right to that. We're gonna switch to the other side in four, three, two, march it out. March. Even on the other side. So if you didn't do the same side I'm on, not a problem. Just work on the other side. I'm mirroring you throughout. Good. Heels in front. Lead. Reach. That's it. Reach up. 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 Lengthen. Come forward. Now, pretty soon we'll be able to get in our boat, in our canoe, in our kayaks. <sighs> One thing that we will be able to do, make sure to get outside, especially today. We got uh, some tricky weather coming up in the next couple days. Arch left. Arch. Good. A little lighter. So you can do a lot of exercising from your chair. There's lots of different ways to keep moving. Let's slow it down in four, three. All right, step over the dog. Hope. Step over the cat. Step over my dirty clothes. Do it again. Hope. Do it again. One more, each side. Good. All right, march it. Extend as we come to a stop that other leg, heel down, toes up, brace yourself on that other side, reach forward, coming back carefully and slowly, especially after this long extended break. If you haven't done any exercising, make sure and go slowly into the movement. Don't go fully into your first few repetitions. Start a little bit slower, a little bit shorter in the movement, and then work into it. One more. Back. Work on that upper part of the back of the leg, the hamstring, and hold forward and reach forward, not down. You don't want to risk falling out of your chair. And come to the seated position. Reach underneath, hinge at that knee again. Any kind of uh, problems with your knee and that hurts, stay down lower or bring it up if you can. Pull that knee toward the chest. All right, circle the ankle. If you want to extend this out a little bit, you can do the alphabet with your foot, making the letters, you can do numbers, you can spell out anything you want to. All right, push that foot forward, stretching the top of the foot, and then the heel. Push, push that heel through. You'll feel that stretch in the hamstring. Actually, not the hamstring, the calf. All right, and back down and march. March, nice and tall in your chair, chin up the chest, left arm across your opposite arm. All right, roll the wrist, again, work on the other side, roll it out, stretching the shoulder as we work that wrist, reach down, or palm down for the floor, and back up, good. All right, hand on front, palm up, stretching the tricep, good. Bring that hand, pushing that elbow up toward the ear. Be careful. Good. All right. Left hand behind, follow by the right. Open up and squeeze. Oh, no, I'm really sweating. March it out. March. Four, three, two. All right. Last part of the warm up. Again, one more time. Hands down to the side. Squeeze. Release. Do it again. Squeeze. Release. Two more. Actually, last one. Good. All right. Inhale. Great big deep breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right. We're ready to go. Now, carefully step to the side. Reach to the side. If you have water down there, go ahead and grab it. I happen to not, so let me grab my water, grab a drink. So we take a break after the warm up, and then our first segment is usually, or my segment is a band segment. Uh, just a little note as you're doing a little bit of recovery, I do happen to have bands with me. Um, 
and I would suspect a lot of you might not, so uh, I'll give you a modification with a towel. Um, remember with bands, there's different colors. The colors I have and the colors we use at our YMCA are green, which is the lightest, red, which is medium resistance, and blue, which is our heaviest resistance. Typically, a lot of the people use either green or red. Our 100-year-old uses blue. She is stronger than ever. And I hope, Joyce, you are able to watch this because, uh, yes, she can still use the blue. Uh, blue is about 12 to 15 pounds of resistance. Red is about 8 to 12 pounds of resistance. And green is typically about 5 to, I would say, 8 maybe pounds of resistance, depending. Again, we're going to use a band. And then I'll also show you a towel, just taking a hand towel or a bath towel. You can do some of these moves, not all of them, but you can do some of them with a towel. So I'll switch to this as well. All right, so coming back behind your chair, again, use that for safety reasons. Um, I'm not going to do a super long segment on the band because I believe probably a lot of you might not have one at this point. If you happen to be going out shopping and want to get one, uh, go ahead and do that. All right. So the first one, using the band, uh, bringing it around our chest, looping the uh, handle around the thumb and the pointer. This one you would need a uh, resistance band to do, uh, but for everybody, brush it out. Again, body weight is always an option. Here we go. Go forward, forward, and back. So if by chance you have a band, great. Use it. Forward and back. Do it again. Forward and back. If by chance you don't, go body weight. Forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Four. Three. Two. And if you would prefer, and you might want to try this, you'd be surprised, take a hand towel and push forward. Forward and back. Forward, contract, squeeze the chest. Nice strong back. Again, forward and back. Now come to a stop. Figure eight. Working our core, contract the abdominals. You can close your eyes, feel those obliques working, strengthening not only our core, but also the shoulders which we're going to go a little more into. First, starting with the towel, lift and lower. Again, if you want, you can walk and lower. Do it again. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Stay here. March it out. The other version, either band. This is a little choppier because I'm going from uh, different pieces of equipment. But because you are at home, you won't have as much access to some of the equipment. So, showing different versions. And uh, oh, make sure you don't do more than eight reps going overhead. Oh, and down one more. Oh, and down. Back to standing. Figure eight. Figure eight. Figure eight. Feel the obliques. Feel that back. Strengthening. Here. Good. Down. Extend and hold. Turn right. Turn left. You're driving. Yeah, hopefully you can still drive and get out a little bit maybe so you don't feel so stir crazy in the house. I call this the bus driver. You can use a weight. You can use a dumbbell. You can use body weight. All right. One of the things we need if we're backing up if we're in the kitchen and we need to reach for something behind us on the counter, rotate and center. Rotate and center. Rotate and center. Rotate and center. Good. All right. We're going to take the band down. I'm just going to move the chair so you can see this. Placing that band on the floor, stepping on top of it again. This might be a challenge if you don't have a band, and if you don't, I'll show you a different version uh, with a towel, but with the band, arms at the sides, you're carrying your suitcases, you're going to get the heck out, wait, where are we going to go? 
that's COVID-19 is everywhere. So you're going to have to use visualization and your imagination and go anywhere you want to. You got those suitcases packed. Here we go. Sit back and up. Remember, this is a functional move we do daily, multiple times a day from the time we get up. Right here on bed. Till the time we go to bed. And back down. Sitting down at the table, sitting on the couch, getting in the car, and a whole bunch of other things. Back down and up. A little break. I'm going to switch the towel. Show you a different version here. Uh, again, you want to pull that towel nice and tight. Gives you a little bit of extra shoulder work. Keep shoulder width apart. Again, go down and up. Go down and up. You don't have to go down very far, especially if you have back trouble. Sit back. Think of sitting in that chair. Nice long spine. Gaze up. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. The last exercise we're going to do with the band, I am going to go back to the band for this one. Stand on top of it nice and solidly. Make sure you stand on top of that band. Shoulders back and down. And step to the right. Step to the left. Step to the right. Step to the left. Step up. Working those glutes. Very important to engage your glutes throughout the workout. If you don't, you may come with some imbalances in the glutes, and that's your powerhouse. So keep focusing. Four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, step out of that. We're going to place that band down underneath your chair. Make sure anything that you put underneath your chair is safely underneath so that uh, you don't trip and fall. Don't forget the towel. The towel, if you squeeze hard and use it, can be used for a whole bunch of different uh, exercises. I'll give you my email at the end, and if you have um, are curious about some extra exercises with the towel, I'd be happy to share them with you. All right, let's do it again. Grab some water. Uh, if you need to sit, go ahead and do that. Grab a drink. And if you want, come on and join me up behind the chair. This is the balance segment. So, working on balance, come on behind your chair. Again, we want to start by marching. March it out. And march. Again, reposition yourself. Long spine, chin up the chest. Shoulders back and down. That's my hardest part. And march. March. Again, throughout. Use visualization. I'm pretending I have a whole class of people right now. My favorite part of this class is interacting with you. A little more challenging when you're not here. So, I'll visualize. There we go. Step touch. Oh. Again, behind your chair for balance, for safety. Four. Three. Two. All right. Arch it up. Arch it up. High of the knees. Shoulders back and down. Make sure you have enough room or you're going to hit the wall like I just did. <laughs> Four. Three. Heels in front. Reach. 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 Mid back to lower back, lengthening out. Four. Three, side tap, side arms, eight, seven, six, count with me, four, three, two, back to heels in front, pull those elbows, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, march it out, march. Let's go with a deep step. Out, 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 out. Arch it out. Good. Three. Last two. Come to a 
south, other side. Out, 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 out. Stop in the middle. Arch it up. We're going to go to the balance part of this. First, come behind the chair, hands on top, rock back on the heels, up on the toes. So starting to focus on balance. Really be careful of your chair. This one is a tiny bit short for me. So if I'm not careful, I'm going to tip right over the front. Please, if I happen to do that, laugh along with me, because I will. Here we go. Up. Two more. Good. Up. Now we're going to hold it up on our toes. I'm going to turn so you can see this. Hold it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Back to march. March it out. March it out. I would suggest do not do what I just did, turning your chair. I've just shown you from a side view. March it out. All right. Go into the first side, the right side. Start with a knee lift. Now, this will be one of the things that you're going to find possibly declined a little bit if you haven't been doing any balance work for the last couple weeks. This will be something you're going to have to work on. You can regain it. It'll come back. Do it again. Lift. Singles. Eight. Use the chair for balance. If you want to challenge yourself, let go. Four. Three. Two. Here comes the first balance pose. Hold it up for a count of eight. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Okay, down, march, march. Good. We'll do three balance poses on each side. I'm starting on my right side. You can start on your left, totally fine. All right, second balance, side lateral lift. And lower. Lift. So here comes the glutes, three parts to the glutes. What you need to know is that's the area you really want to keep nice and strong, flexible, and moving. One more time. Lift. Singles. Eight. Seven. Modify. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. This time, pull it up for a second count of eight, seven, six. You can extend your arms up, challenge that balance. Two and one. Bring it up, march it out. Punch. So one of the things I'd like to do is a little extra balance moving. One of the best ways to do that is a mambo, where we start and stop, leave right, forward. Oh, good. Use a chair if you need. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, arch, arch right. Good. Come on back behind the chair. We're going to have one final long balance for a total of 15 seconds. But before we do that, we're going to work those hamstrings, hands on top, hamstring curl, pull, pull, or multitask, here, or here, eight, six, four, two on the right, two, and two, oh, two, <laughs> that wasn't two, two, one more, each side. Good. All right. March it out. Last balance pose on this side. We're going to do it all on the left. All right. Come to a complete stop. Balancing on that right foot. We're going to lift. Now, you have options. You can put the heel down, toes up. You can stand behind as if you're on a balance beam or on railroad tracks if your uh, balance is not quite as good today. Whatever works for you. 15 seconds. Here we go. Use the chair if you need. I need. Modification. Kickstand. 
the heel or the toes. Last four, three, two, and one. All right, march it out. We've got to do it all over the left side. Oh yeah. So we got to get busy. I'm going to make sure as I move my equipment. Again, really make sure that equipment is safely under your chair. Here we go, all on the left. March left. Knee first, left, lift. Again, if you're on the other side, that's not a problem. We need to do go four, three, two. Now just a gentle, easy kick. Kick. You know what I'm kicking? Same thing you're kicking. Nineteen. Four. Three. On the left side, start with the knee lift. Four, three, two, raise it. Up and down. Up and down. Do it again. Lift and lower. Lift. Singles for eight. Eight. So from the right side to the left, from one side. To the other, four more. Balance can be different on each side. Two more. Oh, all right. Hold it up. Count of eight. First balance pose. Again, you can put those arms out, challenging your balance. Four, three, two. March it out. March. Good. March. Bring those knees up. And I always advocate for what I believe to be the best form of exercising, which is to walk. You can amp up your walking, but for all of us, our goal is to continue to walk. So keep walking. Here we go, second balance pose, working those glutes. Lateral lift to the side, up and down. So those glutes is a strong muscle lift. And lower, one more. Lift, singles, eight, seven. So I have some weakness on my right side. So when I lift my left, I can really feel it. Four, three, two. Great time to work out on this during this hiatus. Hold up for eight, seven, six. Kickstand, four, three. That's the modification. March left, march. Again, we'll do a little bit more of a moving balance. And again, balance is so important. The last thing you want to do right now is fall. Right, Mom? All right, Mambo. We left. Forward. Starting and stopping. Starting and stopping. Lift. Four. That's two. All right. March it out. In the chair, hands on top, hamstring curl, left leg first, pull, pull, at the bicep curl, again, body weight is your best way of working out, it's your first level of working out before you ever add weights, two on the left, two on the right, again, two and two, hop, hop, four, Count with me. Two and one. March it out. Last balance. Here we go. Find that balance point on the left side. Plant on the left. Whether you use a kickstand behind or in front. If you're on a balance beam or on railroad tracks, you pick. Here we go. 15 seconds. Hold here. Find somewhere that's not moving. And that's not hard to do when you're at home, is it? Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. All right, march it up. March. Good. Let's carefully come to a stop. Come to a seated position. And then when you're ready, step to the side, reach down to the side, 
grab that water. The beauty of being at home, if you need to run grab a drink right now, come on back when you're ready. Oh, I must not have worked out much. I am sweating to beat the band. All right, so our next one is with weights. Typically in silver sneakers, we use hand weights anywhere from one pound up, uh, three pounds, four pounds, five, six. For some of the men, they might go a little bit heavier. We have to be a lot more creative at home. So um, I as well don't have any hand weights with me right now. So I'm gonna show you a couple different options I have. Number one. Our soup cans. We're going to do this seated in the chair uh, soup cans, and I'm not lying. Chunky. So I figured it'd be a little extra weight with the chunky. Uh, so go ahead and have a seat. We'll start here for those that uh, would work on the chair. You're going to hold on to the cans and make sure you hold on. Do not drop them on your toes. Or if you're on any kind of linoleum, they could cause a little gouge in the floor. They'll do that as well. All right, here we go. Elbows into the side. Tall, long spine. Gaze up and left. So again, we don't need a lot of weight to uh, work the muscles. We want to keep them moving, keep them strong. Uh, so soup pans is a great way of doing it. Keep going. Lift again. Another version. Water bottles, same thing. Lift. These happen to be cold, so if by chance you get any swelling of the hands, this is a great way to uh, kill two birds with a stone. Nice cool water bottles, sweaty swollen fingers. Here we go, two more. Up and down. Up and down. No in the middle, pulse. Now, for those of you that would prefer to stand, you are more than welcome to for any of this. Uh oh, there with the chunky soup. Uh, lift and pulse. I love one of the lines from Jimmy Fallon. He had people send in funny things they're doing at home right now. And one of them was, uh, I don't know if it was a man or woman that had taken all the labels off her soup, keep Paulson. And she said that was fun because she never knew what kind of soup she was having for dinner. So there's one thing you can do. Take all the labels off your soup. You'll never know what you're getting. All right, here we go. Go out and in. Go out and in. Exercising is a great way to kind of uh, get through these uh, very difficult, challenging times. Keep moving, keep active. The more we sit, the more we start to uh, kind of think about things that can be kind of depressing. So keep moving. Phone a friend. Uh, do something fun. Color. Uh, do a puzzle. And back in. All right, we're going to do a back row. So hinging at the hips, bending at the knees, pull back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. So head in line at the neck and spine, pull. Again, you can do this from a seated position. Pull, one more, and back up. Good, we're gonna go to a lateral raise, bending at the elbows, lift and lower. This would be one of the exercises you really want to make sure that you can lift the weights. If not, body weight is a fantastic way to do a lateral raise. You never want to lift too heavy. Many of the uh, physical therapists recommend soup pans. Let's try that out. See if they're right. Not that I'm questioning them, because I'm not. And oh yeah, I see what they're talking about. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower, singles right then left, right, and left, right, and left, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, I'm going to turn to the back with your elbows, or with the arms nice and long, you're going to lift and lower, lift. And lower. Work in the triceps, work in the shoulders. I'll come back for you to uh, the camera. Lift and lower. Well, these soup pans are awesome, so improvise. Use what you got. And lower. Lift and lower. So let's go for singles. Eight. Use water bottles and challenge yourself when you're done. You should.
drink another 12 to 24 ounces of water after a workout. So once you're done with the water bottles, break them. Great way to hydrate. Two and one. Good. Let's go back to bicep curls. Press. 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 Three. Two. And one. Good. All right, bring those down. Carefully set those underneath your chair. Again, go ahead and grab a drink. Almost done. All right. Set that water back underneath. One last time. This is a segment that we typically would have a uh, silver sneaker ball or a small ball. I happen to not have one. The only thing I have is a great big uh, exercise ball. I don't think that's uh, appropriate for this. Again, safety is number one. So we'll just do a little extra movement and then I'll cool you down. Here we go. wider. Back in the middle. Remember, throat, can tight, uh, excuse me, contract, tighten your core, out, in, out, in, out, in, arch it out. Arch. Back to that side tap, side arms, here we go, eight, seven, six, Squeeze those shoulder blades. Four, three, two, heels in front, right leg. Four, three, two. That wasn't me, that was the dog. Scoop, scoop. I don't think it was me. Scoop. All right, march it up. Reach. Go wider, tap and reach. Reach. Reach, lengthen out, reach. You're reaching up into the cupboard. There's where my eminent old oh, Easter candy. I tell you, I'm not going to the grocery store as much. Not buying any Easter candy. Reach across, reach, reach. Rotation, super important. Remember the planes of movement. Rotation, forward and back, side to side. In the hips, high in the toes. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Arch it out. Arch. All right, back to the jump rope. Go back in time when you were on the playground, jumping rope, having fun, carefree. We had no idea that in the year two, uh, 2020, something called COVID 19 would take everything over. Tap the toes. Eight, Seven, six, helps the shins, helps us keep walking, keeping our feet moving. Four, three, two, all right, arch it out. Let's carefully walk to the chair. We're gonna finish out here. I hope you've had fun. I hope you get a little bit of a workout out of this. Remember, it doesn't take a lot to get moving. Moderate activity, your goal. 150 minutes a week, it can be anything from shopping to doing uh, various uh, chores around the house, cleaning, uh, going up and down stairs, doing laundry, uh, hands to the side. Let's bring those shoulders back and down. So just keep moving. 150 minutes, you can break that down in seven days to a lot of different uh, blocks. That's your goal, keep moving. Again, particularly now when we're not moving as much, when we're uh, supposed to be home. So we have to be creative and find ways to do that. All right, let's carefully sit nice and tall. We're gonna stretch out that neck. Take the chin down to the chest. Make sure you're breathing through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Back up to center. Gaze up toward the ceiling. Close your eyes so you can't see. Let me check your neck. All right. Take your that left hand is carefully. Turn the chin, rotating toward the right. Good stretch of the neck. Back to 
center, bring that left hand down, same thing, right hand, look it over, the left shoulder gently pressing on that chin, stretching the neck, shoulders. Back to center, hands down the side, let's squeeze, shrugging your shoulders, and release. I don't know why we're in the predicate we're in. However, we have to make the most of it. So smile, sing, and dance like nobody's watching. Squeeze. Release. One more. Squeeze. And release. All right, let's extend that. Right foot out, heel down, toes up. We're going to stretch out again, extending the right hand out. Brace yourself, left hand on the left knee. Knee forward. And back. If any have any questions, any comments, if you're feeling down and you need a little bit of a pick me up, or you can get a hold of me by emailing me at bmatson, M A T T S O N, at YMCA, Itasca dot org. Hold forward. And release. All right, let's extend that left leg out. Heel down, toes up, brace yourself on the right knee with that right hand forward. So now as we're stretching out, there should be a little bit better mobility of that hamstring. If not, don't worry. We haven't been doing much in the last couple weeks. That has screeched to a halt. So we've got to get moving again. It doesn't look the same, but it is moving, and that's what's important. All right, hold forward. Again, not down. Reaching out. seated position. Take that left leg over the right ankle. Keeping your left leg or your left arm across that knee. Let's look over the shoulder rotation. I see sunshine. Make sure to get outside. Get that vitamin D the natural way. Get back to center. Release. Recent yourself in the chair. Take your right leg over the left ankle. Left arm over the chair, right over that shoulder. Slowly rotate over. And back to center. All right, we're going to turn to our left into a runner's lunge, stretching out that hip flexor. Contract your abdominals, uh, bending at the front knee and at the back. Nice and tall. You can either bring your hands up and into the chair. Or sit nice and tall. And inhale. Stretch that hip flexor. This is the area you're going to feel tightening if you're doing a lot of sitting uh, due to our circumstances right now. Then you're going to have to work on stretching that. Taking your forearms inside those inner thighs, hinge forward, inner thigh stretch, hinge at the hips. Exhale as you lower. We'll feel that stretch in the inner thigh, another area that needs attention. And carefully back up the center. This time turning to our right. Back into that runner's lunge, sitting at the edge of your chair. Nice and tall again, stretching out that hip flexor. You can either take it from behind or bring it up. Coming back towards center. Sitting nice and tall in the chair. Heel toe those feet back in. Let's take your right arm across. Uh, right either in front of the elbow or behind. Big wave because it's time to go. We've got to get busy doing something else. Get outside today. Most of snow and rain for the next couple days. Otherwise, wave goodbye. Get out of here, COVID. Here we go. Up and over. So again, any questions, any comments, please feel free to reach out to me. B. Matson, M-A-T-T-S-O-N, at ymcaitasca.org. I'd be happy.
happy to talk to you, answer any questions, give you more ideas. Open up, squeeze. Remember, one of the first things that starts to tighten as you age is your chest. You really want to do some chest stretching. And release. Let's take a walk in reverse. Wave, stretch out that delt. Starting to uh, finish out the workout here. And out front. We desperately miss everybody. We hope that we'll see you again soon in person. Till then, we'll keep uh, putting out videos as we can. Release right hand, left hand, roll with the right, open up, squeeze. Squeeze those shoulder blades, wrap around the spine, open that heart center. <sighs> Miss everybody. Release. All right, shoulders back and down. Great big deep breath, inhale. And exhale, let's do that again. Deep breath, inhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Have a fabulous Wednesday. We'll see you again. Take care. Any questions, any comments? Be Matson at Itasca, or excuse me, YMCA, itasca.org. Happy Wednesday, everybody.